The episode you're about to watch is a sample episode from our member exclusive section. So we now have a uh, member section for our website where you can support our channel by subscribing. You will also get access to member exclusive content. If you guys enjoy the content that you're about to watch, become a member. We really appreciate your support. Thank you. All right, welcome to another episode in the Rails Foundation series. In this episode right here, we're gonna be continuing building our admin interface. We're gonna start off with the post index page for the admin interface. So here we go, I'm gonna go ahead and create a post controller over here. So post controller dot RB, just like that, inside of the admin folder in the controllers folder. And what I'm gonna do is a class um, admin, Post controller inherits from base admin base controller. And then I'm going to create the index action and post equal post dot all. All right. And what we're going to do is we're going to create the view to go with that. So I'm going to go ahead and go into the view. I'm going to create the new folder called admin. And I'm going to create a new folder inside of that folder called posts. And then I'm going to create the index.html.erb. And uh, what we're going to do here is we're just going to render out the post. Posts.each do post. And I'm just going to render out the post.title just to keep it simple for now. All right, so we got some syntax highlighting going on over here. Um, so we're gonna test this out. Let's go ahead and go into the admin page. Uh, it's gonna say that the no routes match get admin. Well, that's because now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set the root for the admin. So root to post index. So now when we go to the admin page, it's gonna default to heading over to the index uh, action for the post, you know, I want to make sure that this uh, works. And I want to show you guys the case where if we were not logged in with a, a current user who is an admin, uh, how are we going to handle cases like that? Uh, so let's try and log in with the user uh, who is not an admin. So I'm going to go ahead over here and sign out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to sign in and I have a user here. So I'm going to go into the Rails console. And then I'm going to go to the user equals user dot last over here. And this user here is just a regular user. So Zach999 at Gmail. And uh, the password is just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to click sign in. And now if I go to the admin page, uh, it's going to work and that's not good. So let's see why that worked. And basically it should not be working. We have to basically make sure that if the user is not an admin, so if, so actually we can use unless the current user and the current user is not an admin, I mean, if they're an admin, then um, we're gonna redirect to root path, end. So if I head over to the here and I reload, we're gonna see that we're now taken back to the root page. So um, we're now actually checking using that logic to make sure that um, the you, we have a current user and the user is an admin. Um, and we can also set a flash message error. You don't belong there. So now if I go to the admin page again, Let's actually check our flash type. So it's it's danger. We need to change that to danger. There we go, you don't belong there. So now we're giving um, the user some kind of feedback. So like for example, if someone who you know tries to head over to the admin page and they're not supposed to be there, they're gonna come back over here. Uh, so I'm going to sign out and sign back in as the correct user. So Zach at codemy.net and then give in the password, sign in. And now I'm going to go to the admin page and it's going to work just fine. Perfect. So this is a really good case 
for writing tests. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and start writing the test for this and I'm going to head over into the test folder controller and uh, I'm going to create a new folder in here admin so it's going to correlate with the structure that we have up in our application so here I'm going to create the post controller test.rb so I'm going to do um, require the test helper and I'm going to do class admin and then post controller test and it's going to inherit from this one here action controller test case just like that close that out and now we can start writing our tests but before that what we need to do is we need to set the fixture so that the fixture has an admin user that we can test with so I'm gonna head over into the fixture over here I'm gonna to go to the users and here I'm gonna start filling all of this stuff out uh, so for the name uh, let's say you know this fun here we're gonna do admin user and he's gonna have the name Zach Siri just like that and email is just gonna be Zach at codemy.net and then the password digest um, so what we can do is uh, let's leave that for now um, let me just add the role and basically I'm going to um, set the role here to admin and we're gonna have another uh, regular user and then here we're gonna just gonna say um, normal user and then the test is gonna be normal at gmail.com and then here the role is gonna be user all right, so we have a regular user and we have an admin user. And so what we're gonna do is we need to figure out how we're gonna do the password digest in our test scenario. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that in the next episode. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for now. And in the next episode, we're gonna start writing the test using our user's fixture. And we're gonna write the test to test to make sure that the user who's gonna log in is actually an admin. That's going to wrap it up for this episode. I'll see you guys in the next one.